The Quarra Sport Complex was the next destination for Sporting Lagos as they faced Quarry United on MPL for March Day 6, looking to bank on the experience of Junior Lokosa and the red-out form of Jonathan Aluku. And I'm the Anthony, Isaac Kano and Adafi Emmanuel replaced Oyeka Nelson, Godwin Odibo and Henry Dedi from the team that won against Manje Tornadoes. With two wins in five games and sitting in seventh position, Sporting Lakers were looking to get maximum points or at least pick a point on the road as they visited the Quara Sports Complex. And quickly off the mark, Jonathan Aluku scored the first goal of the game inside the first two minutes. The Barbie boy was in red hot form, receiving a very beautiful pass from Modafi Emmanuel, cut inside before dispatching one beyond the goalkeeper. It's a stock goal in three consecutive games and he couldn't have asked for a better start to life in the Nigerian Premier Football League than this. A great pass from the left hand side presented a big opportunity for Kwame United to draw level but they couldn't keep their effort on target before forcing Christian Oke to just another fine save. The home side piled up more pressure after beating the Keneo Lisema and the cutback found a teammate who made a back heel but the outstretched leg of Christian Oke was enough to deny Kwame United from pulling level. More of the same please was the message from the fans of Parra United and soon they found themselves free just on the penalty spot but the effort inches over the bar. A big chance from Sporting Lagos after run of play. Clement taking away two defenders before finding a great pass to Aluku Jonathan who could have been the goalkeeper. A brilliant eye of the needle pass to Aluku Jonathan just couldn't keep his effort away from the goalkeeper could easily have been the second goal of the game. The Quarry United were gifted a great opportunity from the corner when an effort was a judge to struck the arm of the defender. AJ Isaiah stepped up and converted the resulting penalty to Quarry United to bring the home side level. The second half saw Jonathan Aluku sting the hands of Dewale Adeika in goal for Quarry United. No! Great run from the striker looking to get his brace off the game. The goalkeeper was allowed to the danger. In search of a winning goal, Quarry United kept sending balls into the area. And a powerful strike from distance was unable to beat Christian Walker in goal. Christian time and time again coming up with powerful saves for Sporting Lagos every game. Aquara United kept knocking on the door in search of that final winning goal. And five minutes before full time, Ifan Yodimeda stepped up to provide the finishing touch for Aquara United. Adewale Adinka tipped over a corner in the crowded penalty box as Sporting Lagos were looking to respond and get the point. 2 1 it ended at full time. Sporting Lagos head back to the MG Arena where they will host Panopilas on match day 7 of the Nigerian Premier Football League.